Morning. Well, it's bright and sunny here at the moment, but the clouds coming in. But a lot of snow and sleet expected later. And we don't often get snow, or a lot of snow in London occasionally, but it's hitting Kent at the moment, which is to the east of here. We're in Surrey, the county of Surrey. So it's not far away, it's probably 15, 20 miles away. I'm coming this way, folks, but it might not. Right, now, I did this last week, I think this one. I want to do a snow picture of that. But it won't be the same. Now when I say I, I don't like working from photographs, we all work from photographs, but what I don't like doing is copying photographs. And I'm using, uh, I, I can't really show you because it means altering the boom on my setup here. Uh, I'm using, this is an oil, a knife painting in oil, so I'll explain. I use these sort of knives. I'd like to get that further away, but I can't. Uh, and I'm using my Mabeth box easel with a with a, a, a board on the tray to make a much larger mixing area. And I've squeezed out mostly well Cotman, the Winter there, the Winter Newton student quality paints. They're coming whacking great tubes. I don't do painting with brushes with these because of the solvents. I'm always coughing. Uh, look, Great big 200 mil tubes. That's French ultramarine, Cab, uh, cadmium yellow pale hue. Uh, so I've 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 put out some 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 of that some yellow, some raw uh, no some yellow ochre. I don't use raw sienna with oil. Alizarin crimson, cobalt, ultramarine, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and uh, black. I use the black mostly to mix with the yellows. And Harry's come up to see us. Hello, Harry. Give me a little soak. Hey, that boy. He's lovely, lovely cat. You've seen pictures of him. He's quite a big, big boy now. He's lovely, very friendly, likes people. Not so keen on being picked up though. Uh, right now, uh, I'm using this. Uh, watercolour paper, it's cheap, it's £140 weight and I, I bought a block of it last year, I'm having, well when I was away with friends, the husband has since died, we went to the funeral last week, or the week before last, uh, and I bought it and it's 100% cellulose, it's okay for watercolour, wet in wet, it's not so much good for anything else, but it's certainly good for painting in acrylic or oil, there's a lump under there, um, ah. Right, uh, so I've, I've coated both sides with, with the P dilute PVA primer, PVA glue, but I want to do knife painting with the oil. And I, I've just, all, I just ordered some KY jelly, now I know it has many uses, but it's acrylic and it mixes very well with the acrylic paint. And it extends the drying time, which is very useful for for um, acrylic. But I'm hoping I can mix it with the paints uh, and with some some uh, plaster, some filler plaster, this sort of stuff, polyfiller, we call it, for shrink and crack resistant filler for all interior repairs. Make a sort of gesso, but just to thicken up the paint a bit so that I can get some nice brush strokes. I'm just going to pull my line. Hold on. And I might be able to get some nice brush strokes in the acrylic. Uh, right, now, uh, that painting I did last week, it's, uh, I like it. It's, uh, God, I can find fault with it. But, I, but as I say, working from photographs, if you try to copy them, it becomes too graphic. You put everything in, and it might be a clever copy, but, but it doesn't really say much about you or me as an artist. We, we take an idea and we develop it. And there, there are several painters that really influenced me these days. There's Jackie Gardiner, J-A-C-K-I-E Gardiner, a Scottish painter. Verges on abstract expressionism what I would call it, um, but mostly she's 
she's abstract impression and, and I love her work. And there's a new painter come on, well, he's an old painter probably, but new to British Impressionists on uh, Facebook called Mark Hinch, British painter. And he paints rather like Trevor Chamberlain, a very good uh, Impressionist painter, a member of the Wapping Arts group, which is quite prestigious. But but uh, Mark also does some very free painting, like Jackie Jackie Gardner. <laughs> it looks like wild abandon. Everything is there, but it's not. Andre Pallet is another one of British Impressionists. Uh, worth looking up, these guys. They're, they're, they're very, very experienced. And they make it look easy, but well, of course it isn't. It takes years of study. When I say study, I mean practice. Because most of us are, uh, are self-taught artists. We've got an interest later in life. Me in my 20s. I wasn't very interested in it at school. But, uh, but anyway, I'm going to invent a sky. So, plenty of white. I'll... I can't show you the mixing, I wish I could. I'm with a bit of alizarin. And we've got a nice bit of, bit of light. This is a very satisfying way of, of painting. Just, I haven't got any cadmium red squeezed out. I might, I will use cadmium red if I can find it in the melee. Uh, it's got a, over the years the plastic tops rot or perish, so I've got a bit of shrink wrap on the top of it. Uh, but being oil paint, it stays open for years. Well, provided you seal it or something. Let's take that off. See, I haven't used it for a while. But it's the only oil painting I do. Oh, God, it's very stiff. Ah. Let's get some more shrink wrap. Right, okay, that, that will uh, do. Let's put a bit of that and a bit of... And a bit of... Bit of that we can merge. I picked up the uh, cobalt by by mistake there. But don't over, when you're doing knife painting, don't overwork it. Leave some uh, surprises. Just get the paper on. The thing, the thing about uh, the support, you can mount it behind glass when it's dry. This will take ages to dry. I usually mix a bit of alky resin white, Italian white, but I haven't got any of that, I don't think, left. It mixes with everything and it dries everything over in a couple of days. And you, or you can cut it out and, and stick it to a piece of, this is what we call hardboard in the UK. It's got uh, this is sort of like a building flooring grade hardboard. I think in the States you call it uh, masonite. But this, provided you get the oil free, uh, you can paint anything on that. Uh, acrylic oil, but you rub, rub it down, but I always prime it with a bit of PVA glue anyway. Uh, right, so let's just add a bit of that cadmium. Why not? You use more white than anything else in this. Right, let's just get that in. In there. Carry the colours through. But you'll have fun with this, but it can be infuriating, especially when you get it on your knuckles.
don't worry about making the sky look like a sky. Just the idea that it's up there suggests the sky. It's all about suggestion. Another bit of. I'm going to go fairly low with the horizon. Okay, I'll thin that down there a little bit so I can paint over it. But the thing is, leave your leave your marks. Don't try and flatten them all out. Right, you plenty of piece of paper to wipe your knives. Don't get cheap knives like chromium plates. You get the proper steel steel blades, but they last forever. Uh, <coughs> right now, I'm, um, that's going to be the, the height of my. Oh, I'll put a bit of landscape behind that, so let's have a bit of, a bit of blue, a little bit, of, a bit of black. Clean the knife into the white. So some black and blue give a bit of a, a pale indigo feel. I have to do several paintings a day if I can because uh, I've got a lot of paint s squeezed out here, uh, far more than I'll need on this. Uh, we don't really want to waste it. So that's a bit of background for you. <coughs> a bit more blue in that now. Snow in there. Okay. This is the most enjoyable and satisfying way of painting I found. I absolutely love it. Maybe I should use oils rather than acrylic with with the knives. But I've got so much oil paint here. I must have two or three hundred pounds worth. That, that has been languishing for years because of the solvents don't agree with me. Uh, right, okay, so the picture's gone. Totally different from the picture. I'll show you. There's my watercolour sky. And there's my knife painting sky. I'm just put my knife in the yellow. <coughs> so, let's get a bit of, bit of burnt sienna. I'll mix it with a bit of red. Get my red roofs, barn roofs, corrugated. Now that barn's going to be black, black there. Okay. Now I want to make sure my roof is horizontal. And it's quite hard to do that. Okay, let's uh, put a little bit of bit of snow on there. Blue. And just put a catch of, just a touch of light on the top. Don't know if I'll put two bars in. But I want I want to give you simple now. I'm going to go in with the with the, the trees. So I'm using uh, I'm going to use the lemon yellow or the cabin yellow pale. But I want to mix it with I show you the colour. That's the green. 
that you get with uh, the black. Black is a wonderful shortcut to green with the yellows. But I want it to have a bit of warm in it, so too dark to contrast. So a bit of bit of blue in there. Uh, black and not black, uh, blue and uh, sienna, burnt sienna, gives you a lovely, lovely dark anyway. Mix a bit of yellow with that, you know you. So just the, just the background of the trees, and I'll put some snow in there as well. You don't have to use all the colours. Maybe try and leave a little bit of sky holes in there. This is all very simple stuff, but if you haven't tried it, well, I'd uh, recommend you have a go. Let's move some of that down there a bit. Try not to get that dark colour mixed in with your trees. Now we want some nice good dark around the sides of that house and that's going to be a bit of a, a real tester. Uh, There are some wonderful knife painters about. My favourite knife painter, as you know, if you're a regular. is Catherine Williams. Died, I think, 2003. Might have got that wrong. All right, let's just throw that off because it's going to be snow there. Okay, so I've, I've, I'm just highlighting that the bar there. And we've got another bit the other side of that. Maybe I should have to change. Oh, I know. Let's put in a bit of bit of light. I should have done that lighter there. In fact I will. Let's get my my uh, oh, blue and the, and the black and a bit of white. Okay, this is a bit better. Just to think out of the box with this. Okay, that's a barn, doesn't really very messy. Look. I keep the tissue. I've got, I've got my apron on while I'm uh, covering my knees. When it's a bit damp, this oil paint, it'll wash off with uh, dishwasher fluid. Uh, just bring that down there a little bit. Okay, well, we know they're trees, don't we? And we can put a little bit of snowy. A bit of light catching here and there. Oh, 
Okay, let's see if we can get that more red, that roof. It's a bit of burnt umber in with that red. Oops. Okay. Right, now let's go with some snow. So, cobalt. Oh, plenty of white. Now, just bringing the uh, the snow to uh, it went soft. I mean, there are various shades of that. So. Careful what you pick up with your knives. All right. Just get the colour on to start with. And I'll put some shadow in. with um, some purpley colour. I don't like that. that is... You don't like it, scrape it off. I want that, just that pure bluey, that light blue at the moment. I don't want this smoothed out too much. Add a bit of lizard in there. Oh, I'll just put some here. Oh, no, there's only a small piece of paper. This is probably about seven by ten or twelve, something like that. See, look, just. Keep it darker rather than lighter. You paint snow, you don't paint white. You just highlight with white. So just the the ground undulating. Just get the stuff on there. Look how quick you can paint that. some dark bits in here for bushes just, but I just want to cover it all then we're fiddling about with the detail bit the shadow look then when we put the highlights on and a few dark notes no it's not C Right, let's put in some darks. So the uh, sienna and the ultramarine, but and a bit of bit of green, a bit of dark green. Right, that'll do. Now let's get in with some, just a couple of bits of white on there.
Right, so, so keep, keep the blues going. Bit of bit of blues running with that. I'll put it in a in a mount in a minute. We don't want it too, too bitty. Otherwise, so I've used most of my white and I've put out about four times as much white as anything else. So this is this. Now, I'm not sure about my bar on there, so let's just also see if I can alter, alter that shape there a little bit. That, oh, that's just could be a bit, bit of dark, shadowy. No, I can't get that, so I need to put the orange there. Yeah? It's about that red with the kiss and yellow for that roof. It's not showing up as a red roof, really. <laughs> Good hands for that. Not shaking. The burnt umber. Right, and we just we can just highlight that with. That, that might, I think that probably competes too much with that one, isn't it? Right, that's better, that's just a bit of a, a hint. I'm up in the cold gallery. Right, okay, well what I'll do, I'll, the, I'll put it in a mound. Be careful, just take this off. I'll have to move my, my easel back so that you can see it. A longer distance. 
Right, put that off there. Get your fingers out of it. Take that one off. I'm just wondering if uh, that's just a bit too light. Let's uh, make it a bit lighter. That'll do. Be careful when you drag your knife through the paper. With use, these get razor sharp, the edges, and you can slice through your finger quite easily. I've done it. I, I've got the back leg of this, what well, leg, it's folded. A bit more masking tape. Um, and stuck on a brick to level it all up. That's the one thing I've got against this is all that, that the legs, do, when it's in sort of collapsed position, don't leave the uh, the tray horizontal. But then, if I stood up, it'd be, it wouldn't uh, be an issue. But I sit down. Okay, let's just back that back so that you can hopefully see it. And uh, maybe move the tripod. Oh, I'll put the uh, put this on right. Right, bear with me. Uh, got a clip. Now I've got to be careful here because that other one to go everywhere. Okay, let's get a clip on there. Oh. Okay, so we've got a little, a little picture there. A little snow scene. <coughs> it's far from perfect. But I've, I think that's uh, not too bad. I've now put the white on it, white on the roof. It's, it's taking it away from from that one. Uh, I suppose you can always have a few sheep, but uh, no, it's what it is. It's my idea of a, of a quick snow scene. I hope you enjoyed it, folks. If you've got knives and, and oils and you want to have a go, it's, it's well worth the effort. I, ju I just clip a piece of uh, kitchen paper we call it grease proof paper in the UK. And there it is, look, this sort of stuff. It's waterproof and grease proof. And I just clip it to my, my table here. And when I finish, I just roll it up and throw it away. But I'm going to do another one. But so I'm going to have a little break. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye bye.